ますよ<笑> Beautiful outdoors area which is the perfect place for this day's this day's today's three minute Q&A where I discuss what I think is coming with the next generation of GoPro Oh, just, oh, sorry, my face is massive. Just before we get into this, I just want to say, my name's Stephen. I have another channel, Stephen J. Reed, where I make videos about outdoors running, hiking, and camera tech, um, which actually has some subscribers on, like this channel. So feel free to go and check out that channel. But thanks for watching this one. Back to the video. Uh, yeah, so a slightly sticky and sweaty edition of three minute Q&As today. Supposed to be doing a run, feel a bit tired thought I'd stop and shoot a video instead. <laughs> Why not? Um, and the question I got asked this time, this is a part of a series, by the way, people keep asking me all these questions. They're too short for a full video, so I just thought I'd do them in a three minute format whenever I get the chance. Um, and today's question was, what do I think is coming next with GoPro? Because people are wondering, should I get the GoPro here or nine? Now, I have owned the five, no, I've owned the four, the four, the four, the five, the six, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. Uh, versions of GoPro. I use them all the time. I use them in my running videos. I'm using my phone today because I forgot to bring the GoPro. I haven't planned on making this video, but I was suddenly inspired. Um, so I do use them a lot. I have a good idea how they work. I have a good idea of the pros and cons and the, the faults uh, and the bugs <laughs> within the GoPro system. One thing I will say is that I have tried all kinds of action cameras. I've tried the ones from Insta360. I've tried ones from DJI. And they all have their pluses, but so far in terms of just image quality, especially for me, the quality of the audio, nothing matches GoPro, but, but it's not without its flaws. The latest version, Hero 9, has been quite buggy. It's crashed a lot. Lots of people have lost footage. I actually think it was better when it was first released. I didn't have any problems with it when it was first released, and then with subsequent firmware updates, I've had problems with it. So GoPro have a lot to fix and add that with the fact that they're now getting proper competition from the likes of DJI. DJI released their own action camera, the Osmo Action, over two years ago now. We know there's another one on the way. We don't know when it's coming, but DJI have taken their time and they almost produced a camera better than a GoPro on their first try. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what they come out with next because they've taken two years to develop it, whereas GoPro is locked into this release cycle of every single year, unless they've got multiple teams working ahead. And the same with Insta360. They released the Insta360 Go 2, which for a minuscule, tiny little camera, almost has image quality as good as a GoPro. Very, very impressive. So I really have two predictions for what I think is going to happen with the next generation of GoPro. And I say next generation because I think what GoPro have to do, they have to diversify. They've got to divide their product line. They've got to develop that main sort of flagship GoPro camera. And I'll come back to it in a second. But at the same time, I think they need to come up with a smaller offering. Because GoPros don't just get used by people to go outside and shoot action sports. They're really, really popular within like the FPV drone community. People put them on drones, they fly with them. And what you find out is within that community, most of them are still using 7s and 8s. Why? Well, a lot of the time, it's because of the weight difference. They're smaller and they're lighter. And if a smaller, lighter camera exists, it gives the, gives the bit of good quality and it's good stabilization as a GoPro, they're all going to jump ship to that camera especially if it's a better price point um, and in general the introduction of the go to has sort of i don't know brought in this new era of high quality but much smaller cameras and i think gopro is going to have to embrace that so i think 10th generation gopro are going to have to go back to something they did years ago which was the session the little small gopro which is basically just a lens i think they need to go back to that because i think it was a good format i think they need to go back perfect the stabilization at that size and put really really good audio quality at that size and market it at quite a low price point i think they need to do that obviously it won't, probably won't have a screen in the back it won't have lots of other things but it's it's a unique category of action camera that i think they have to go back to uh, to order to get an entire area of the market which is just leaving them behind now so that's that but then what about the flagship model well 
Given that they only have a year between release cycles, I don't think we're going to see anything dramatic, especially given like the, the fact there's been lots of like chip shortages and, and issues with um, getting parts the last year with the pandemic. And the fact that GoPro fired a lot of staff recently because they haven't, I think this year, this may be the first year they've made a profit in five years. So not sure where they're going to get all the money to like release a new camera. Everybody's like, when is the one inch sensor GoPro coming? I don't think that's going to come this year. My prediction is, and what I would like to see and what would actually make me upgrade is if they take what they made with the Hero 9 and sort of enhance that. I want to see the following things with the flagship GoPro Hero 10. This is definitely over three minutes. I want to see them improve the video quality at um, in slow motion because currently it's not very good. I'd like to see really crisp, clear, 120 frames per second and just maybe improve the 240 frames per second. Um, and maybe as a bonus introduce another frame rate. Though to be honest, I think those two frame rates work fine. So yeah, it'd be really nice to see the, the, the quality of the, the slow-mo improve because I don't think it's really improved since like the Hero 4 or 5, the quality of it. You get stabilization in it, now you didn't used to get, but the quality of the slow-mo hasn't really improved. I'd also like to see them fix all the bugs with the Hero 9. There, it should not crash. Like, I use quick capture a lot and probably one out of three times I use quick capture it crashes I want to see it work flawlessly no kind of bugs like that there's an audio bug in the Hero 9 which again I didn't seem to have at the start and I have now that crackles and pops they need to fix that the screen responsiveness is terrible they need to fix that um, but then the other key feature I think they need to add which would actually make it a worthwhile upgrade is I think they need to introduce a wireless microphone system. Something similar to what the DJI uh, Pocket 2 uses. It's a little tiny wireless transmitter with a little windshield on it, and it transmits perfectly straight to the camera. I think they need to do that because that would then make it really, really appealing to vloggers and give people using the Hero 9 for vlogging a reason to upgrade. Other than that, Honestly, I don't think there's anything really that would make me want to switch to a new a new GoPro. So yeah, for so yeah, two things there. They need to go back and introduce a separate line, a smaller, quick session style, session size GoPro. And for their flagship model, they need to fix all the bugs of the Hero 9, improve the video quality for slow motion, and add some kind of wireless microphone system. And I think if they do those two things, the Hero 10 will be very successful. But I would be interested to know what you think is going to come with the next generation of GoPro, or what you would like to see. So comment down below, let me know, and uh, we will see who's right in probably sometime around September. And thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, you might enjoy some of the videos over on my main channel, Stephen J. Reid. You can pop over there where I make videos about the outdoors, about camping, about hiking, about, well, there's technology on there as well, but I'm trying to have the focus more on the outdoors. So feel free to pop on over there and have a look as well. The intro from the start of this video is the intro from my main channel. Thanks for watching and uh, welcome to this confusing three minute video, which really should have originally planned to go on the other channel, but I thought actually it's very tech specific. So I'll put it in this channel and see how it does. Very confusing.